Thanks so much. Hi, everyone, and welcome to a very special press conference for The War with Grandpa. I'm Heather Brooker. I'm an entertainment reporter for NBC Los Angeles, and I host the award-winning podcast, Motherhood in Hollywood. And I'm so thrilled to be chatting with two of the stars of the film today, Laura Morano and Oaks Fegley. Hi, guys. How are you? Hi. Hi. Hi, so I want to let everyone know and just I'm going to ask a couple of quick questions and then we're going to open it up to questions from our bloggers who are joining us here today and you can drop those questions in the chat and I will call on you you'll turn your video and audio on ask your question and then turn audio and video off and wait for the answer. <laughs> So let's dive right in, you guys. Um, Oaks, let's start with you. How, what was your reaction like when you found out you were going to be in a movie with Robert De Niro? Uh, very common question. Uh, it's, it's definitely was, it was a great time. I mean, it was, um, it was really interesting. But when I first heard that that was uh, what was, what was going to happen, it was just definitely, um, obviously a bit intimidating, but immediately was exciting and and just something that uh, sparked a lot of interest and a lot of passion for um, a, a new film and something new to work on. So uh, definitely was was immediately uh, interested and intrigued and um, yeah had that passion from the get go. So let's talk a little bit then about um, your character. He's at first, like we think, oh, they've got this sweet relationship, like him and his grandpa, they're just like best buddies. But then you throw down the gauntlet and really just start a massive prank war. Let's talk about some of those pranks. Um, what were some of your favorites to do? Peter just wants his room back and I, he will not back down um, until he gets what he wants. So I think what the really interesting thing about uh, the dynamic between both Peter and his grandfather is that they're really similar. And the reason they butt heads so much is because, because of that. And because they, uh, they both don't want to back down. And obviously there's a lot of pranks that, that happen and all of them kind of just lead to more chaos. And it's, it's just uh, a lot of, um, a lot of fun and was definitely a lot of film, fun to film all of those pranks and all those different things that were happening. And now, Laura, you sort of represent, um, your character really represents this sort of misunderstanding that happens a lot between parents and their kids, especially moms and teen girls. I have a young daughter. She's seven years old. I'm terrified when she becomes a teenager that we're going to be at war and battling um, a little bit because she's very strong-willed. Tell me about playing her and also playing opposite Uma Thurman. Well, first, I just want to say, don't be scared. It's so funny. My mom said the same thing. My mom and dad, when they both had girls, they're like, is it going to be crazy during their teen years? And it was not. Um, maybe they'll say something different. Um, I was so nervous and intimidated about working with Uma, um, especially because we really had to go head to head. It had to be, you know, that kind of dynamic where I did not given I was always fighting back um and one scene in particular we have like a little bit of a screaming match and I was nervous about the scene but it went super super well which was awesome I think it's like they're saying it's a dynamic that a lot of teens not just girls but teens in general kind of resonate with um when you are realizing you have different thoughts and different wants than what your parents want for you and it's uh it's sometimes tough to have a, a an actual conversation and communicate well with your parent but I think that's always kind of the key yeah no you're absolutely right absolutely right well I know you guys I don't know if you can see it but there's lots of questions coming in from our press yeah. our family press folks over here so I want to get right to them so they have an opportunity to speak with you um Tanae Michelle if you want to go ahead and click on your video and audio and you can ask your questions so you have a question here um for Oaks uh as Peter I think you did an amazing job playing Peter you guys played a lot of pranks um, on each other in the film. And I just wanted to know what was your favorite prank to film and why? Um, I think my favorite prank was probably when uh, my, my Peter's grandfather uh, takes all of the, the screws and um, 
you know, hardware out of Peter's things in his room. And Peter's just in such shock and has no idea what's happening. It's just a really chaotic scene and was a lot of, you know, moving parts, but um, ultimately was a really fun uh, scene to film. So that was probably my favorite overall prank. Awesome. Okay, I want to head over to Megan Cooper. Megan has a question for both Laura and Oaks about filming in Atlanta. Go ahead. Hi there. I'm an Atlanta native, so I'm dying to know. I know you guys wrapped filming this for a long time ago. <laughs> it's been a while, but I'd love to know if you fell in love with anything within the area, any hot spots, places that you visited. I absolutely adore the aquarium. Um, and I think I stopped in, in Coca-Cola world as well, but I think <laughs> the aquarium was my favorite thing. And uh, me and a lot of the, the younger actors and I, we, um, you know, took just trip to uh, a nice trip to the aquarium. And it's just a really, it's a really awesome place. And that was probably my, one of my favorite places in Atlanta, if not a, you know, varsity hot dog Maybe not. was awesome as well. So yeah. And Laura, what yeah. Yeah, it's funny. I, you know, coming from LA, um, it, it, it can be quite gray here. And I was so struck by how green and beautiful Atlanta was. So I would, went on a bunch of kind of nature walks, I guess. So there's like a park. Um, I cannot remember what it's called, but I spent so much time there. Uh, it was this just mm -hmm. beautiful green uh, oasis of, I think there was a waterfall somewhere. Um, I will say I would get constantly confused because there are so many peach streets. There were, there's like peach road, peach street, nice. peach tree street, peach tree road. Um, and I have a terrible sense of direction. So that was a lot of great. peach, a lot of peach themes going on in Georgia. Oh, we I totally guess. get that. <laughs> All right. Um, I think um, someone from JPI, I think has their audio on because I can hear somebody talking. So I just want to give you a heads up really quick about that. Um, also, all right, let's head over to Angie White. Angie has a great question about how much fun you guys were having. So Angie, if you want to pop on your video, there she is. Hi. Hi, Hi everyone. Um, Lauren Oaks loved the movie. I am currently in a uh, multi-generational household. My dad lives with us and uh, it's been wonderful and thank God my kids have not fought with him. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I wanted to ask if there was any, um, the cast seemed like they were having so much fun. Did you guys have any like behind the scenes offset pranks on each other? Good question. We're, we're not much of, I, I think as we figured out, because we've been asked this question actually a few times, uh, we're not really pranksters ourselves. Um, but there was definitely just a lot of, I think, fun and, and just general positive um, energy and attitude on set. But there wasn't really any, you know, mischief uh, occurring. But yeah, I will say I'm, I, I'm kind of regretting it now because for a movie that is so filled with pranks, we were really a, a prankless set completely, but there was still a lot of fun. I spent so much time with Poppy, um, who was five at the time and her mom. And it was like, she's the spunkiest, funniest girl ever. So I feel like we had so many stories of she would make me laugh constantly. So one question that is coming up a lot is um, everybody's wanting to know if there was a favorite type of prank that you did or a favorite scene um, that you guys had to do. So Laura, I know you weren't directly involved with a lot of the pranks, but let's talk about your favorite scene to film. Well, my favorite prank to watch when I saw the movie was the snake one. I think that was, that yeah. was a very the incredible and dangerous prank. Um, but my favorite scene to do as an actress and I, you know, I had a bunch of the intimate scenes, uh, like that took place in the house, and I loved doing that screaming match with Uma. But I also loved even the scene with Poppy and I when we're like shushing each other on the bed. Again, she's just like the most adorable little girl, um, and so we had a lot of fun when we had those scenes together. Awesome. Okay, I want to head on over to uh, Robin from Mom the Magnificent. She has a question about you guys and your own personal relationship with your grandparents. So Robin, if you want to pop on camera and fire away. Hi guys, congrats on such a great family friendly film. My kids and I loved it. And so I want to know um, what's important to you guys when it comes to family time and relationships with your own grandparents. I, um, 
I recently, you know, being in, in quarantine, it's been, it's been difficult to, uh, you know, just think about how, how scary it is for, for older people and, and for your, my grandparents. And um, I'm lucky enough to have all four grandparents and, and to uh, have good relationships with all of them. And I think it's really made me make sure that I'm not taking those relationships for granted because, um, you know, it's, it's been a rough time. And being able to talk to my grandparents, I was able to luckily visit my, my grandparents in Colorado. And uh, it was really nice to be able to see them and to make sure that they're doing all right. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's definitely important for me. I think family time is, is important, uh, especially during these times, family can get quite uh, warring or yeah, it can get, it can get pretty aggressive uh, depending on the household. And uh, <laughs> I would say just, you know, trying to make sure that you can avoid that and, and uh, enjoy each other's company as much as possible is, is always nice. That's good advice. Laura, what about you? Yeah, my um, grandfather, uh, all my grandparents have unfortunately passed away. Um, my grandfather passed away actually right before I got this movie, which I felt like was this weird, mm. um, it was, it was like a, a, a weird moment, but with my parents and my sister and I, we really uh, try to have moments throughout the week specifically that we just spend with each other. So we usually have these Sunday dinners, a uh, very Italian of us, where during the pandemic now, we've been doing having them outside, still keeping them as safe as possible, but it's nice to have kind of face-to-face -face moments and have some sort of time that's designated just for family. And there's a couple questions coming up as well. Um, did you guys read the book before you started filming? I, I was made aware of the book after, um, well, I, I had heard of the book, but I had never read it until after I uh, had read the script. And then I, I took a look at the book and um, was able to, to find it and read it. And uh, I think, it was, it was really interesting to, to see the difference between the book and also the similarities. And uh, I know that there's, there's a lot of that when it comes to, you know, adapting something or whatever. And I think a really interesting story is that our, our young executive producer, Trey, um, was only like 11 or 12 and even younger when he read the book and introduced it to his father. And, um, you know, that's the reason this, this film even was made and our, our producers, um, then moved along and, and actually tried to make that a reality for Trey. And that became what this is, which is really awesome. And totally. I am um, very similar to Oaks. I knew about the book, but what I loved was that Trey, our, the youngest executive producer of all time, um, <laughs> was so inspired by this book, loved this book so much. And not only that, knew that he wanted Robert De Niro to play the grandfather. Um, like it literally came from Trey. So obviously this book um, meant a lot to him and it meant to a lot of people that he knew. All right, I went ahead on over to Sarah from Scoop Show. Sarah has a good question about advice you may have gotten on set. Sarah, if you wanna pop your video on. There she is. Hi, Sarah. Hi everybody um well obviously the cast is insane I mean just iconic people really and I'd lo love to know did they give you any like advice or like secrets of the trade kind of like long-term success even though you're both obviously super successful that is a good question I want to know too <laughs> yeah well I think it's funny um I think what actually even made it more intimidating is that they didn't like I think there was an expectation of just you guys are going to do your part we're going to do our part um which i think was also super cool to have but incredibly intimidating um it, it it was a really surreal experience in general and i definitely felt like i wanted to be on my a game and not necessarily like go up as a fan even though i was fangirling so hard throughout the whole shoot uh, so it was, it was, it felt more like we were peers and co-stars, which was bananas. Yeah, no, I would absolutely agree. Um, and say that I, I felt the same way. There was no real advice or anything. Um, I don't think that's really, for the most part, I've never really worked with anybody who's, you know, given me, um, direct advice or, or anything like totally. that. Totally. I feel like it's, it's just more about, uh, everybody doing their part and learning from the way each other work, 
um, instead of, you know, direct uh, tips or advice or mementos or anything like that. I love that. There's sort of like an expectation that you guys are already pros. You know what you're doing. You come in, you do your job and yeah, that's fantastic. And then Sarah, if you want to take your video off, turn your video off. Perfect. Okay. Let's head on over to Diane Sullivan. Diane has a question about, um, uh, advice you guys would give for, um, some grandparents moving in with their grandchildren. So Diane, if you want to pop on your video, let's see. There Hi. She is. Hi, Diane. Hi. Hi. So I was just curious for all the grandpas out there, what advice would you give them if they have to move in with their grandchildren? Wow, oh, that's a <laughs> difficult question. I would say, you know, I think uh, it's important that you give your your kids as well as the kids give the, the grandparents the respect that, um, you know, there's a mutual respect that has to has to happen, especially if uh, if something like what's happening in the film is is happening and somebody's taking over somebody else's room that could be uh you know it cause some some trouble but uh i think yeah just generally respecting respecting both sides is uh is important but yeah yeah i think also um i think just real talk you talking to the grandparents being like it shouldn't be a pride thing we're all family. I think sometimes there is a level, of, especially with Ed in our movie, there's a level of pride of, I don't need to move anywhere back in with my family. I don't want to, you know, inconvenience anyone. And I think at the end of the day, a beautiful thing about family is that you we're all here for each other. And grandparents were parents once that were supporting completely their kids who are now the parents supporting their kids who also want to support their parents so it's just family dynamics are all about support and balance and give and take okay we have time okay. for one last question. thank you oh thanks diane one last question went ahead over to uh patty patty if you want to click on your um video there we go fire away all right guys um the movie was great and it was something that I feel like is going to have a lasting impact. So my question is, 10 years from now, I know it feels like January was 10 years, but 10 years from now, um, what do you want people, what do you want kids who watch this movie now uh, to remember about the message of the film? Um, I think that there's, you know, just generally, uh, there's a positivity to this film. And uh, I think that positivity is something that, is always important to try to keep with people and a lot of people you know have have different ups and downs and trying to stay positive is is can be very difficult and uh especially in a time like like this is now and how negative the last uh, couple months have been and even you could even say uh years it's been it's been rough and we are now in a time where this film hopefully can help some people uh get those smiles or laughter back in, in their lives, if, if they're missing that or, or whatever. Yeah, you know, I think hopefully something that people take 10 years from now and hopefully something that they resonate with even right now is conversation within family is the most important thing you can have. Um, I, all of this really could have been avoided if Ed, Peter, everyone in the family just sat down and talked about you know, okay, this is the dynamic. This is what's happening. This is how I feel about it. This is how I feel about it. Um, I think a lot of times in families, even with my character, Mia and, and Uma's character, there's a lot of conversation that doesn't happen. And it's not easy to talk to your parents or your grandparents, or even sometimes your siblings, but conversation is so needed in families, in life. And when you don't have that open communication, war can happen. So let's not have war happen. 
<laughs> that is a great uh, way, a reminder, please, let's not have war happen. Um, and a perfect way to end this um, time that we have with you guys. Laura and Oaks, thank you so much. Everybody had such great questions. Want to thank our, our mom press that was here with us, our family press outlets. Quick reminder for you guys, we do have two more press conferences after this. So what you're going to do is check your email. You're going to head back to the hospitality room. And then from there, we will send you another link for our next um, press conference and our next round table. So Laura and Oaks, thank you guys so much. Congratulations on the film. The War with Grandpa yeah. opens in theaters on October 9th. We can't wait. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye guys.